from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning here on Mornings LA as America awaits the announcement from the Federal Reserve tomorrow to announce whether J. Powell and company are raising those interest rates of 50 basis points. But same bat channel, same bat time, says a brand new analyst today. He says that next year will be much the same with interest rate spikes and also with inflation. But another new report today says inflation has peaked. Is he right or is he wrong? We'll jump on the latest details across the board. That's why you need to get these incredible stimulus checks. $300,000 of stimulus checks, fast stimulus, 18 months of stimulus checks, $3,000 of stimulus checks per month, five stimulus checks per month. We're going to go over these incredible stimulus checks in today's recordings. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible stimulus checks, which became a law in the month of March. Viewers have gotten paid since the month of March. And once you get paid, it's automatic every month. About $300,000 of checks, 18 months of monthly stimulus checks available for you. $3,000 a month, five stimulus checks per month. We're going to go over the latest details for you because they are everywhere and they've been paid out since month of March. These incredible checks are not from your state, but from the federal government. And they are absolutely incredible, but they're not for any particular group. We'll go over the latest details on these big checks over this big broadcast. You need to apply. We're going to go over everything you need to know to get these incredible checks. You need to move fast. Again, 18 months of monthly stimulus checks, $3,000 a month, and five checks per month. But inflation may have not peaked, but do nothing, get nothing. We'll go over why it's important to understand that you will get nothing unless you do something. And I'm going to show you how to do something with these incredible stimulus checks in today's morning's broadcast. A 30-day countdown. As the economy is 30 days away, very, very different set of events, and that is a recession. A weaker December, brand new data from Goldman says December is not going to be good for retailers and on the heels of November not doing well as well. The toast is toast and the butter is butter and the cough is brewing. We have a lot of deliciousness heating up this morning's broadcast. I'm excited you're here. We're going to have a lot of fun. And we have a big preview of today's show. Yesterday on Holidays LA, we jumped into the Poinsettia plant, but today we're jumping into the Azalea. It's a big show, a big week, and a big day of broadcast. From the toast to toast and butter to butter and coffee's brewing, it's Mornings LA starting right now. And good morning, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day. And boy, is it a big week. This is the week you want to watch every show on this channel. Why? Because tomorrow, the Consumer Price Index for the month of November, the CPI, which gauges inflation, is released also on tomorrow. Tuesday's broadcast also starts the start of two days of Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve announcing their FOMC meeting results for the month of December, their final meeting of the year. And then on December 14th is where the Santa Claus rally is set to start or potentially never even happen. It's a big week and it's a big, important month. But folks, this week is really the week in which you do not want to miss any shows because there's a lot of major developing details. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day across the board. I'm going to go over those incredible details across the board in just a second. But first, these incredible stimulus checks, $300,000 of stimulus checks for you. You qualify. And these incredible stimulus checks pass in the month of March. I'm going to show you these stimulus checks in today's recording. Viewers are getting paid about 18 months of stimulus checks, five stimulus checks per month, three stimulus checks per, $3,000 of stimulus checks per month. And what do you need to remember? They're everywhere for the, from the federal government. You need to apply. They're not from your state. They're big, bold, beautiful stimulus checks, and they're not for any particular group. We're going to go over each of these incredible stimulus checks one at a time in today's recording. But let's go right into the breaking news we're working with right now. The world awaits. The world awaits as Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve is set to announce its inflationary policy at that massive meeting tomorrow. It's a two-day meeting of the Federal Reserve. 
And boy, the reaction to the markets in view of the countdown for tomorrow is huge. The shares of the Asia Pacific stocks are down dramatically right now. The Hang Kang Sang uh, market index is down 2.2% pre-market trading today. The ASX, which is Australia, is down 1%. South Korea's market is down 1%. The Shanghai composite is down about 1% as well. This is all in anticipation of j Powell and the Federal Reserve at that meeting tomorrow at which they're likely to announce a 50 basis point increase across the board. Financial key conditions have eased dramatically since the October CPI reading released last month, so the Fed will likely use the December FOMC meeting to walk those back. Do I agree? Not really. No, I don't agree at all. Those comments are from Jeff Hodge, Chief Investment Officer at Cornerstone Wealth Market. Same bat time, same bat channel, absolutely. And that were the comments that came in from a very, very beloved guy, Mohammed El Rarian of Alliance. I love him. He was always really right. And his comments were, whatever you see right today will likely be the same thing come 2023. Higher, infl higher interest rates, more interest rate spikes for the Federal Reserve, persistent inflation, persistent recession, the same situation, just a different year. I think ultimately the Fed is going to have to maneuver this very, very difficult road in the middle of next year. I think we'll have clarity on what happens with the Fed. But the further you go out in 2023, the harder it is to get it done. And that's what the market's expecting. Plus, we have brand new comments today about inflation from Janet Yellen, your, your Treasury Secretary. What did Janet Yellen say about same bat channel? <laughs> is she a Batman fan? She said the following. She says that there's a substantial reduction in inflation not happening until the end of next year, provided there's no shock to the markets, and that a res the risk of a recession remains there. It's certainly going to potentially happen. It's something that is not necessarily going to bring inflation down. So there's a lot in those quotes by Janet Yellen. First, she's right. Inflation and recession are two very different economic events. So one has nothing to do with the other. Inflation is still going to be with us next year. Recession will join us brand new next year. But remember, Janet Yellen is that person who always ran away from the word recession all this year long. Now she's finally admitting, I was right, a risk of recession is likely, she says, America's first brand broadcaster for financial news to record that we're going to recession was me in February of this year. And peaked, not peaked, Dave Mann at Chief Economist at Asia Pacific says inflation has seen its peak this year, but it will still be above where it was pre-pandemic next year. Do I agree? Absolutely not. The, the comments that inflation has peaked is becoming almost like a running gag on this channel. Peaked means it's a negative number. Peaked means inflation is now coming down. True or false? Very false. The producer price index, the PPI, which is what the wholesaler pays for inflation, pays for products, showed inflation went up in Friday's last data. Last Friday, the PPI was released, and it was all positive numbers. There was no negative number in there. Inflation had a peak. It's all positive number. It was up month to month. It was up year to year. And tomorrow, the consumer price index, the CPI, which gauges your products you buy, is likely to be up month to month and year to date. The headline numbers are all positive numbers. It hasn't peaked at all. When you look at the component parts, I'm only predicting three component parts to be negative numbers like they were the prior month. And those were used car sales, gasoline, and medical. Otherwise, everything else is supposed to be a positive number. So to say inflation has peaked is ridiculous. It's nonsense. And yet people keep on trying to tell you that nonsense. And that's why you need to get a stimulus check. Because if people are telling you really incorrect stuff, in view of an important economy, then people will get confused and may think their economy is fine. It's not. 18 months of stimulus checks, $3,000 of stimulus checks per month, five stimulus checks per month is what viewers are getting. Fast stimulus that pays out in less than two days in some case. These are for you. You need to apply. And over this recording, I'm going to show you these incredible stimulus checks. You need to move fast because 30 days away is that recession. These incredible stimulus checks are big and bold. They're everywhere. And they're $300,000 of stimulus checks, 18 months of stimulus checks, $3,000 of stimulus checks on average across the board. Over this broadcast, I'll go over how for you to get these incredible stimulus checks. You qualify. 
But let's go back into the breaking news we're dealing with right today as we're counting the down, days down to the big recession. Do nothing, get nothing. This is what's important to remember today as we give a little bit of tough love. People who do nothing are not going to get stimulus checks. People who do something are getting massive stimulus checks. And you need to do something because why? The 30-day countdown is underway. What is 30 days away? 30 days away is the recession, a two-year recession. And then the weaker December. Goldman gave us those big numbers last week that said December retail sales numbers are not good. They're weaker than November, and November was weaker than October. Folks, this is not good, because if that is happening, then we have three things happening at the same time. A recession, weaker retail sales, and also, what do we also have? Confusing consumer confidence. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Yeah, so a report released Friday from the University of Michigan said that consumers are more confident about this economy than the prior month. Uh, yeah, they were having too much eggnog spiked. <laughs> That's why I have to get all these credible stimulus checks. Let's go over these stimulus checks and understand where they came from, what they are, and how you get them. In February this year, as I had already said, I was the only American broadcast to record the U.S. economy would be going into recession. My prediction in February was the recession will start in January 2023, which is now 30 days away, and would be a two-year recession into 2024. My prediction at the time left me on an island of one because people thought I was crazy, and they said I was wrong. Now they're all saying the same thing. They're now all agreeing a two-year recession. It's important to understand that as soon as I made that recording in February, you did exactly what you should do. You said, give me some darn stimulus checks. You had listened and learned on this channel well over the last two years. I taught you to always err on caution. Always be cautious with your money. Do not be risking your money. And when I told you a two-year recession is about to hit, you said, if that's the case, give me some darn stimulus checks. Thank goodness you did. God bless that you did. Why? Because we got lucky. That day when you said that in March, I immediately started looking for stimulus checks. And that same day, Joseph Biden passed a series of executive actions which established the first three stimulus checks, A, B, and C. And those incredible stimulus checks are big, which led us into my triple mandate for myself and for you. Number one, I want big stimulus checks for you, and we got it. Now, let's remember, the lockdown was six months because of COVID. This is not going to be a six-month endurance test. This is going to be a two-year event. A two-year recession is not going to be survived with a measly $1,000 stimulus check. A $2,000 measly stimulus check ain't going to survive a two-year recession. It'll survive a six-month lockdown, but not two years. And so I wanted big checks, tens of thousands of dollars, and we got them. Thank goodness. In this recording, I'm going to show you these tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks that viewers are getting, and they're getting 40, 50, 60, 80,000, even upwards of $200,000 of stimulus checks. Number two, my second mandate was you qualify, broad eligibility. I want to make sure you get these, these stimulus checks because you need them. And you do qualify. There's only two factors to consider for qualification. Number one, if you're a single individual, do you make $75,000 or less per year? That's the case. You qualify for these stimulus checks. If you're a married couple, do you as a married couple make $150,000 less annual? Then yes, you qualify. That's it. There's nothing else to consider. It doesn't matter whether you rent or you own, doesn't matter if you have children or don't have children, doesn't matter if you're on SSI or SSDI, doesn't matter if you're behind on bills or ahead on bills, doesn't matter if you're blue state or red state, there are for you. Third, qual third mandate is that it's simple. I want to make it simple for you to get these credible stimulus checks. As a person who's been recording videos since spring of 2020, I knew the importance of recording, but I also knew the importance of going in and doing it even faster. And I made the newsletter. Rather than just make a recording on it, I also have a newsletter for you so that you simply go bang, 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 click, 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 and apply. It's that straightforward. So you want to listen to all the recordings of this channel, and then in the newsletter, you go right down to check A, bounce, apply, check B, bounce, and apply. The newsletter is delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central via the YouTube alerts. You go to write down that YouTube alert, click the link it sends you into the newsletter, and you apply. How does this work? 
I'm going to show you each check one at a time. But let's go back into the breaking news that we're working on right today, which is that 30-day countdown in the week of December. So a series of events are leaning up to the same time horizon, and this is not particularly good. 30-day countdown, week of December. Wow, let's go over what we're dealing with right now. We're dealing with, number one, Goldman Sachs telling us that the month of November was not good for the retailers, weaker than October. So that means Black Friday was weaker than Halloween. That's not good. December, they're saying, is not good as well. And we have a lot of corporations that are giving similar guidance that December is looking really weak. If it's weak and they do not deliver good earnings in the month of December from holiday sales, guess what happens January? They lay people off. They still close stores or maybe they go bankrupt. Where's the labor situation right now? It's not particularly good. Long-term labor, which is people who are on unemployment for more than one week, is the highest of many months. It's at about 1.7 million, which is a really high number. Then you have what I just went over with you. That's likely to grow dramatically in January. Also, j Powell wants unemployment to grow. You heard me right. He wants it to grow because he believes that brings inflation down. What happens in January? What happens in January is all those credit card debt that's being incurred, the largest of a generation, comes due, and American savings accounts are gone. According to J.B. Diamond, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, savings accounts will be gone by early next year. If you believe that's middle class, then that's you. If you believe it's low income, says KPMG Financial's chief economist, then it's already gone. A lot of things happen in just January. What also happens in January? Fourth quarter corporate earnings for corporate America comes in, and they're likely to all be poor, saying that they didn't deliver good retail numbers in December, and they are going to downward guide across this economy. All this at the same time as inflation is still with us, as a recession kicks up, you need to get these incredible stimulus checks. So with that, let's look at these big stimulus checks. Let's understand that these are from the federal government that has a lot of money, Federal government pays for it. Federal government is where you apply for these incredible checks. And how they happen? Let's bring it back to the month of March and where it all started. In the month of March, when you heard me to record that a recession just uh, just shortly around the corner, you said, find me some darn stimulus checks. And I found these incredible stimulus checks starting the month of March. And where are they? What are they? Let's look at those incredible stimulus checks starting right now. These incredible stimulus checks started with... Joseph Biden. And those incredible stimulus checks were passed by executive action. Joseph Biden, in the month of March, passed a series of executive actions which established the first three stimulus checks, the first three federal stimulus checks, FSE, checks A, B, and C. And what are they? They're about $100,000, those first three stimulus checks, A, B, and C. And you qualify. Again, $75,000 or less annual income, single individual, go get them. Marry a couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get them. And how do you get those incredible checks, A, B, and C? I'm going to go over those with you in just a second. In this recording, I'll go over those first three stimulus checks with you that viewers have gotten since the month of March. You qualify. Do not wait to get these incredible stimulus checks. Then came Congress, and they passed hundreds of brand new checks bringing us to more checks across the board. Those are checks E through K. And I found you L and M, N and O, P and Q stimulus checks as well. And where are all those? For the members in the membership newsletter delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. In that LA newsletter delivered from me to you, again, watch your time zone, 7 o'clock my time, 10 o'clock New York, New Jersey, 9 o'clock Central, you get that YouTube alert. Here's the YouTube alert. Then down in that YouTube alert, past the guy with the surfboard, it says click and view posts. Click the button where it says view posts, and it sends you right into the incredible newsletter. And that's where you apply for these incredible checks, one at a time. Check A, B, and C, and it continues thereafter. We'll go over all these incredible checks in just a second. But let's go back into the breaking news we're dealing with right today. So America is awaiting tomorrow. But you and I already know what's happening tomorrow. Why is this a little bit bizarro? I'll explain the details to you right now. In a massive week that's underway, we already know what's going to happen in the data. We just don't know the reaction. Is that strange? It is a little bit strange. Let me explain what's going on. 
The consumer price index is released tomorrow for, for inflation for the month of November, the CPI. You already and I already know what it's going to say. It's going to show that inflation went up compared to the prior month. It's going to show that inflation went up compared to the prior year. And my prediction is that every component of that CPI is going to be up, with the exception of maybe gasoline down, medical down, and used car sales down. That's what happened last month. Pretty easy, right? That's what happened with the PPI on Friday. Pretty easy, right? Yes. So why would we be surprised about tomorrow's CPI? We're not. We're surprised by what the reaction to the markets will be to the CPI. There's been a lot of crazies on the markets where they see data that everyone knows is coming, and then they say, I'm shocked by it. Shocked. Federal Reserve, they're on Tuesday and Wednesday. Are we surprised by them? No. Federal Reserve is likely to say 50 basis points is the next interest rate spike, so we're not particularly surprised. Where we would be surprised is if the Federal Reserve says something along the lines of inflation has not settled down. It is not. It's been a year. And that we may have to stay course for a long time or potentially go higher. Federal Reserve already told you they need to interest rate spike throughout 2023 and 2024. They've already said that to you. So anything other than that that's weaker would be a surprise, would be a delightful surprise. Anything stronger, like we have to go back to 75, that would shock the markets. Federal Reserve is potentially not going to say that, although I think they should say it. And so today and tomorrow, the data, you and I already know what it's going to say. What we don't know is the reaction of the markets to the data. And then what happens December 14th? That's a big day, folks. December 14th is the 10th trading day of the year for the markets. December 14th happens to be the 10th trading day of the year this year. And the 10th trading day of, the, of, the, of, of December every year starts the Santa Claus rally. The Santa Claus rally is an upward trend where everything goes straight up. It happens every December. Whether there's a recession, whether there's a bear market, it always happens. But there's big new worries this week that if the CPI or the Federal Reserve shocks the markets, even though we already know what the data is going to be, the bear rally, the recession rally, the Santa Claus rally may not happen. So December 14th, critical to watch on this channel. December 13th, critical to happen to watch this channel. December 12th, critical. There's a lot happening on this channel because this is a very, very critical month. And then January, as although December is not critical enough, the January gets even more critical. So let's go right into some stimulus checks right now. Check A, B, and C you need to get right off the board. And those incredible checks are huge. They've been lost since the month of March. And let's look at those incredible checks. Let's get some stimulus checks by going through stimulus checks A, B, and C together as a family right now on this morning's broadcast. Stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. How do you get it? You go into this video, join the channel. Then to go down the membership newsletter, see check A, click the link, and go right and apply. You're not done there yet. You're going to go to check B. Stimulus check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000. Members of this channel have been getting the stimulus checks since the month of March. And stimulus check B is that stimulus check that's helping people get 18 months of stimulus checks, MSCs, law, since March. They're getting, on average, 18 months of $3,000 and five checks, stimulus checks per month. Get that incredible stimulus check B. Go down the video. Join this channel, become a member, and apply for that incredible stimulus check B in the LA Late newsletter. You're not done there yet. Go get check C, which is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. In the newsletter, it tells you the 12 places to reach out to, what to say, and how to say it for that incredible check C. And what are the success stories for check C? Well, let's look at them right now. Over the last year and a half, the success stories for members for Check C are huge. $30,000 of rent, join this channel and get that incredible Check C. And utilities, well, Lynn Glenn just got 14 months of utilities. She helped a family member get some rent. Here you go. Mark got $6,500 of utilities. He helped his brother-in-law get $15,000 of utilities. Same brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. And here's back with Mark. Mark had gotten $32,000 of stimulus checks from this channel as a member. Then he went and got more because I told him to get more. He went from $32,000 to $50,000 of stimulus checks to $100,000 to $166,000 of stimulus checks from this channel. Lorraine was at $105,000 of stimulus checks. She went to $150,000 of stimulus checks. 
Drag and triple member to all three channels and volunteer to the community page. She has gotten $170,000 of stimulus checks. Johnny, who had gotten uh, himself $80,000 of stimulus checks, helped 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars. And we have countless viewers out of, uh, across the country for stimulus check B that have gotten 18 months, five checks per month, $80,000 to $100,000 of money from stimulus check B. Go get it. Go into this video, become a member, and the big second half will continue with these stimulus checks picking up with checks E through K, the ones passed by Congress. Now, let's go back into the breaking news that we're dealing with in view of today's recordings. The world is awaiting the announcement from Jay Powell, but same bat channel, same, same channel, same bat channel, same bat time. It, it is much the same now with the Federal Reserve as it will be in January. You and I know. You and I know that inflation is not going to go away between now and January. You and I know that Jay Powell is going to still raise rates next year. You and I know that inflation is still going to be around. So nothing is really surprising to us on the data front. It's rather the reaction to the news we don't know. And reaction to the news is sort of like that third item on the screen right there, peaked or not peaked. It's just mind-blowing that people are still telling you that inflation's peaked. Tomorrow's CPI is likely to have literally no negative numbers in the headline at all. Month to month, the inflation is likely to go up, a positive number. That means it's, it's not peaked. Year to year, year to day, it's likely to be a positive number. It's not peaked. That happened on Friday when the producer price index was released. And yeah, gasoline has gone down. Yes, uh, apparel has gone down, but that's not the headline number. Inflation's not peaked. And ultimately, what's important to understand is that long-term unemployment is growing, and it's important to understand that recessions is 30 days away. In the big second half, we'll continue with these incredible stimulus checks. It's important to apply for those incredible stimulus checks. And I'll also give you a preview of what's coming up today on holidays, LA, and afternoons, LA, today on 3 o'clock. We got a lot of fun coming to this channel throughout the day. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started on this big, bold, beautiful morning's broadcast. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as we continue with these big, bold, beautiful FSC checks from Congress. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the summit continues in a big, bold, beautiful morning to LA broadcast where the audio is perfect. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's show, you know what I'm referring to. In this big second half, we continue with these big, bold, beautiful checks that came from Congress, checks E through K. And then I got you a countdown to today's holidays, LA. We're going to have a lot of fun, plus the 3 o'clock afternoon show. Oh, boy, everyone's going to love, and especially Anne and Dragon. And thank you for all those beautiful, nice comments that were said during the commercial break, especially... 
um, from that really nice viewer. I'm trying to see where it was. Um, had a beautiful comment about me in the commercial break. Thank you so much. In this big second half, we continue with those incredible checks. We're done by Congress, bringing us to checks E through K. You ready? I'm ready to rock and roll. Congress passed that bill, which established then hundreds of more checks, and they are beautiful. Check E is a beautiful $7,500 stimulus check. It's in the membership newsletter down to check E. F, $4,000 stimulus check. Love it. Then we have the beautiful check E, which is 30% off. H, a $2,000 stimulus check. Ah, oh, love it. Then check I, $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. Check J, $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. And then stimulus check K, $14,000. Incredible. Now, those were the stimulus checks that Congress did in that bill. But I always am looking for other stimulus checks for you. And I found these as well. These are in the membership loser at L through Q. L is $100,000 on average of loan is free money. M is a $4,000 stimulus check. Then N, my favorite, brand new tablet, brand new computer, brand new laptop. Do you want a brand new tablet for Christmas? Of course you do. So as a member, go down the membership newsletter to stimulus check N, click the link and go right and apply. It also has free internet. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, no insurance required. And then stimulus P and Q. P is 3% for a refi, and Q is $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. And those are your federal stimulus checks, your FSCs from the federal government, from those people in Washington, D.C. Let's learn a little bit more about the Santa stimulus, this Christmas stimulus. First, they are large. These are tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks. You qualify, and number three, you want to apply for them in the membership newsletter delivered from me to you via YouTube alerts Monday through Friday, know your time zone, 7 o'clock my time on the West Coast, New York and New Jersey, that's 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Midwest, you are 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. Go right in in the newsletter, apply, apply, apply. Now, largest check $100,000, smallest check $8,000, fastest rallying time two days. Jai started on Monday, by Wednesday he had $45,000. By Friday, he got 15 applications in for stimulus checks, half rejected, half approved, $80,000 of stimulus checks. Then his next week, he got his mom, $50,000 of stimulus checks, his dad, $50,000 of stimulus checks. Then he helped 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars of stimulus checks. What are these stimulus checks for? They're for the rent, the utilities, the mortgage assistance, the home appliances, the home repairs, the computer, the tablet, the laptop, the free internet, the car, lots of wonderful stimulus. And there you go, the federal stimulus checks you need because a two-year recession needs tens of thousands of dollars. It's a long time, two years, and I'm always looking for more stimulus checks for you on top of these. Now, there are also those inflation relief stimulus checks. They're nice, but nothing to write home about. It's like icing on the cake, hence the I. And the inflation relief stimulus checks are down the membership newsletter, check D, and they are about $1,000 a pop. And they're from your state. At check D in the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to, it, t it tells you where to track them, and what you need to know about those incredible checks. And then we go to a lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. As Bob Bacon sent me that very cute uh, private message over the weekend, he learned about his brand new Bevitt race, and he was so excited because, as he said, once it goes up, it never goes down. I should have that on a T-shirt. Let's go over how much your benefits are going up and when they're going up. No one explains this to anyone, and shame on them because it's so important. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Let's take it back a month, a month backwards, to this November of 2022. You got a check. Look at that check. That November 2022 check has in it a 5.9% raise compared to the prior year. Now, in 30 days from now, in January 2023, you're going to get a brand new amount, larger, which has an 8.7% raise on top of your current 5.9% raise. That will be our brand new check amount for the entire 2023 year. Then, in January 2023, Four, you'll get another raise on top of that. That'll be the new amount for 2024. And then 2025, January, you'll get another raise and that'll be a new amount on top of that. There you go. 
Now, as Janet Yellen confirms, as that other analyst also confirms, by 2024, 2025, your items you buy will be the cheapest of a generation. So you have the largest, largest benefits check monthly, but the items you buy will be the cheapest of a generation. That's the incredible great news. Let's go back into the breaking news we're dealing with today and also get a preview of what's happening up uh, all this week and also next in two hours from now on this channel. The world awaits. So the world is very, very anxious to hear the latest comments from the Federal Reserve. But it is sort of problematic. It's very confusing because you already know what the Federal Reserve is going to say. Federal Reserve is going to say that they're going to do a 50 basis point increase tomorrow. And they're going to say the same thing on Wednesday. And they're going to say that inflation needs to come down. It hasn't come down. And we have a long road ahead of ourselves. I can almost write their script. Now, the part of the equation we don't know is the reaction of Wall Street to this obviously very predictable statement from the Federal Reserve. And we also don't know if the Federal Reserve may insert language along the lines of, you know what, we may have to go back higher to 75 again in the future. It's very likely the Federal Reserve says that, and if they do, the markets are not going to be happy. The markets are trying to expect the Federal Reserve to say tomorrow, we're going to go eventually go from 50 to 25. The Fed is not going to say that, folks, at least not tomorrow. So they're betting on an event that's not happening, peaked or not peaked. Again, fake facts. That analyst saying that inflation has seen its peak, that's David Mann, chief economist at Asia Pacific, is not true. Peaked means it's a negative number. When that CPI is released on Tuesday, the headline number, month to month, is going to be a positive number. It's going to go up. That's not peak. That is not peaked. Not when it says it's peaked, it would be a negative number. It would be a negative 0.2 or negative 0.1 or negative one. It's going to be a positive 0.2 percent, a positive 0.3 percent. The headline month to month number, year to date number is going to be positive as well. Why do we know that? Because it was positive in the PPI, the sister brother number released on Friday, and then. The importance of understanding the reaction of other non-viewers to these markets. On Friday, we had that very bizarro report from the University of Michigan that said consumer confidence is way up. In the economy? <laughs> way up consumer confidence? That is scary. Why are people confident about this economy? Number one, unemployment, long-term unemployment is the highest of a generation. And long-term unemployment is way up and that long-term unemployment is not coming down anytime soon, as J-Pow is going to raise it. Number two, the next concern is that those December retail numbers are not going to be good, so more layoffs are going to come in. Number three, um, the Federal Reserve is going to still be bad on reflation in January, and, we're still going to, and then we're going to start a recession. So a lot of factors to consider across the board. What do you want to consider? Pink or white? <laughs> <laughs> you want to consider pink or white, because that's coming up today on holidays, LA at 11 o'clock. We're going to go over that pink versus white poinsettia plant. Yes, you've seen the red poinsettia plants on the set, but have you seen the pink or the white? You get the introdu that introduction today on the 11 o'clock holidays LA show. And then on our 3 o'clock afternoon show, guess what you get? You get the introduction to the azalea plants. Wow. Ever decorated for Christmas with azalea pants? Today you'll learn how to do it. It's a big, bold, beautiful day, and it's just getting started. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, stay informed, stay focused, stay dry, because it's very wet here in Southern California today and tomorrow. And, of course, last weekend as well. Uh, the toast was toasting, the butter was buttering, the coffee's brewing. I'll see you throughout the day on LA.